Hello and welcome everyone to the very first episode in the Parax Let's Learn Spelt series. My name is Lawal and I'll be your tutor. And in this video, we're going to be looking at an introduction to Spelt. I hope you are excited. Now, what is Spelt? For the people that don't know what Spelt is, Spelt is a user interface framework for building web applications. It allows you to build your app by cutting them into smaller chunks called components and composing them. And these components combine markup, styles, and behavior. The components are then compiled into very small and very efficient JavaScript modules that eliminates the overhead traditionally associated with UI frameworks. And this simply means that Spelt is the UI framework of the future because of Spelt takes a completely different approach when it comes to utilizing the DOM because of Spelt as a compile step that eliminates a lot of the things that are normally associated with traditional UI frameworks like React and the rest of them. Now, how do you create a Svelte component? Well, the first question should be, how do you create a Svelte application? Now, for this series, we're going to be using Svelte Kit to create our application. Now, I do not expect you to know or understand Spelt Kit, but we'll be using the CLI to create this application. We won't be diving into Spelt Kit at all. If you want to learn Spelt Kit, we have a series that we are dropping simultaneously as we're dropping the series as well. So you can go check out that one for Spelt Kit. But for this, we would completely ignoring Spelt Kit, even though we'd be using the CLI and the whole application would be completely ignoring it and completely focusing on Spelt. Now you can copy this or you can just type this out npm create spelt athlete test and then the name of your application so i'm just going to copy this whole thing i'm in my editor's terminal now and i'll paste down that command i'll change my npm to p npm and i'll also change the name of my application to my spelt app and i'll click on enter to execute this command now we have the very first question which felt app template go for this skeleton project click enter add type checking with typescript i want to focus solely on um felt so we we'll go down to no so we don't use typescript or we don't use yes doc so no and yes i'll add yes links i also add pretty here and i will try out felt 5. by the time these videos are being released i expect felt 5 to be stable Going forward, we only deal with Spelt 5 on the channel. So I expect Spelt 5 to be stable. Right now, it's still in IRC, which is release candidate. But even if it's not yet stable, go for Spelt 5 preview. And use your spacebar to select the ones you want and arrow keys up and down to move. And now, as you can see, the telling us the next step is to CD into my Spelt app. So I will just copy this. And they are telling us to npm install and i'll copy that as well and paste that there now when you have your spelt kit application open set up properly just run your dev server my dev server is already running to run it we use npm run dev or if you're using pnpm it will be pnpm dev or yarn yarn will be yarn dev one will be born run dev and once that is running, you can just copy this or control click this to open it up in the browser. So I'll control click on this. And you can see the browser is running. Welcome to Svelte Kit. We said blah, blah, blah. But you should be saying welcome to Svelte because we are now Svelte 5. We are not dealing with Svelte Kit yet. Let's take a look at this one more time. Now, correct. Welcome to Spot 5. Now back to the first question that we asked, right? How do you create a Svelte component? Now the plus page of Svelte file that we are in is a Svelte component, but we are just going to be avoiding anything that has to do with Svelte kits. So in order for us to create a Svelte component, we have to create a file and give it the extension .svelte. So what I want you to do is to go to your libs folder in this leaves folder create a new file by clicking right here and name this 
my with a capital letter starts it with a capital letter my first component pretty long name but when you want to end it end it with the extension dot spelt make sure you can spell <laughs> not like me the spelt and then you can click on enter now this has become a spelt component and we can straight up directly write html right here so i can come here and say h1 this is my so i cannot handle a little bit component e l t e right and if i go back to my browser you see that nothing will show here the welcome to spell five two shoes on this work this is my shelf component doesn't show and the reason for that is this is what is being rendered so for us to render this my first component yeah we just have to import it so i can just open my opening brackets angle brackets and write the name my first component and if you are using vs code this should auto import if it doesn't then you can just write this by hand look at this and write this by hand and you can see my first component will be imported right here if i save this and go back to the browser i can see this is my svelte component also rendered below so that is basically how you create a svelte component this is pretty simple it shows you how it works but it's pretty boring right so how do you actually make things interesting how can we actually add um data with states so first of all i'm going to create a script tag and then i'll create a state i'll say let's count equals and then for me to create a state i have to use the dollar sign state rune so it's basically dollar sign and then write the states and inside this bracket you put the value and count would be 10 and I can output the value of count to be rendered by coming outside of the script tag and saying the value of count is, and then inside curly braces, put count right there. Save that, go back to my browser. As you can see, it shows the value of count is 10. And in order to make that larger, I'll make put this in an H1 tag. Save that. As you can see, the value of count is 10 right here. And just as you might have noticed, we can add normal HTML tag inside this felt component. So as you can see, we have this script tag. And inside the script tag, we can write JavaScript. And outside the script tag, any other place, we can write HTML. So we don't have to have like an HTML tag before we can write HTML. We can just begin to write HTML. Then we can have an image tag. And this image tag, you can see, okay. gone. And this fave icon is inside my statics folder, so right here. I can save this. Go back to my browser and you'll see this felt logo showing up right here. Right. And one nice thing you can do in felt is you can use dynamic attributes. So for example, I can have let's part is equal to and I can put the value in here. Make this a string. And I can say SRC is equal to part. Save this. And this should still work. But what if this was the same name with the attributes right here? This SRC. And what I can easily do is change this to SRC as well. And save this. And once we save, you can see that it does something nice for us, which is it put it removes that post SRC and just puts it in the quality brackets now if they are the attributes name and the variable is the same name like src and src we don't have to do things like src is equals to src because they are the same you can just put this inside curly braces and it will still work so you can save this go to my browser and you can see you still see the image so that is a shorthand attribute we've seen how to add JavaScript, we see now to add HTML, but how do we actually add styles to our spelt components? Well, we can easily do that by using the style tag. What I can do here is say h1 color will be red. 
once i save this i go back to my browser you see that this text is red my name is lawal adibela fawaz is showing in red and that's because of i set this rule right here telling that every h1 tag should be red and this this is an h1 tag right here but one thing you might have also noticed is that we also have an h1 tag outside right? which is this welcome to spell 5 but that doesn't take effect right styles are scoped to the components so you won't accidentally change the styles of other um elements outside that component so in this um page components i can have another style that says h1 basically another rules for h1 thing that i want the color i almost thought i was written for a second there the color to be <laughs> blue and i'll save this and you see we'll have the h1 here being blue welcome to spell 5 will be blue and we'll have the h1 here being red and they won't leak into each other like this towel would not leak into this if i go to the browser as you can see i don't know if it's, if it's my eye but i'm not really seeing blue i'm still seeing black but i'm expecting this welcome to spell 5 to be blue and I'm clearly seeing this one as red as well. And one nice thing we can do again is we can next component. So as you can see, I brought this my salt, my first component inside this page tag. I can actually bring another component inside this my first component. So I can create another file called, well, you guessed it, my second component. <laughs> and then I'll give this an extension of the spelt because of that is how I tell the spelt compiler that this is a spelt file and it should do something with it. Give this an h1 and say this is my second component and I can give this h1 color of green. I can import this my second component inside this my first component right here like this. See my second component like this. Save this. And I'll check the browser now. You see we have welcome to the five. My name is Lawala at Debella for hours and this is my second component. Right here. So we are importing my second component into my first component and then we are rendering my first component inside the page file. So that's basically it i hope you guys understood everything if you have any question let me know down in the comment section if you liked the video click on the like button if you didn't like the video let me know what you disliked about it in the comments if you have any questions again because a lot of people have questions and they just don't ask they're shy or something i don't know but if you have any question about spells and spell five i'm willing to answer them just drop them down in the comment section or you can reach me out through my different social platforms in the next episode we're going to be taking a look at reactivity in spelt 5 make sure that you guys are there for that make sure you subscribe so you, and also click on the notification button so you get notified when that one drops as always i love you guys and i'll see you on the next episode